In this first video, I am going to focus mainly on Statista. So I'm going to highlight how you get into Statista and how you find the information that you need in Statista. Remember that in Statista, we need information mainly about the company or the organization that we intend to use in our assignment. So Statista can help us to identify the organization of interest, but also to find information, basic background information about the organization or company. This is useful because you can apply that information that you find from Statista in developing a profile of your organization. Remember that part one of the assignment requires you to introduce the assignment and to also showcase the organization that you are going to use for the as the basis for your analysis. So if you're going to talk about the organization, you want to be able to provide a profile. You want to be able to link the profile to the justification for selecting that organization. Why have you selected a particular organization? So by showing the profile, including the data, the background and history about that organization, you can effectively link that, uh, this information to your justification or rationale for selecting that organization for your analysis. So the first video, which is this one, is about finding company and sector information on Statista. Finding company and sector information on Statista. So let us do that. Okay, so to find information about Statista, or to go to Statista and be able to find information about anything, the best thing is to go to the library because, you know, through the library, you are already authenticated. You have access, you have um, you would have signed into the library before, and if you have not, you should sign in. Uh, so you sign into the UWS library, so you already have access, you've authenticated your credentials. So in the library, just do, there are different ways to find what you're looking for, but the easiest and simplest way is what I'm showing you today. So once you're on the library page, just go to the search area here, okay? You can see I've done some searches already in the library. You can see a lot of things I found about the library. But anyway, in the search uh, box here, just type Statista, right? Just type Statista and search, okay? So once you click on search start for Statista, it will give you a number of results. You you can see that there are several results that we have here, but the main one is the very first one here that says welcome on A to Z databases Statista. So that's what we're looking for. Therefore, just click on that. You click on that. Now it will again give you um, a number of boxes with different information. And I suggest that you take a bit of time, you know, be patient, take a bit of time and read some of these useful tools so that you can understand exactly how Statista works, because this is the introduction to Statista, explaining to you how to find data, how you can find any key information. If you use quotation marks as an example, you will find you, you're going to be searching for specific phrases such as social media advertising. So read this uh, tutorials first here. Yeah? These useful guides are good for you. They are all there and they are compact. They're not too many, very short. But also, you can play the video. So if you play the video, you will be presented with a very short introduction and primer to Statista, which can help you to understand again a bit better about how to find data and find information about Statista or in Stat Statista, about any company or any sector or any activity you are interested in. So once you've looked around and you have read and you have, you know, listened or watched this video, you can now click on Statista itself. Statista. So when you click on Statista, it will take you here. Okay. And you can see that because I'm logged in to UWS already, because I'm logged into UWS already, it takes me straight to this uh, point here where it says my account. So if you come to Statista and you see my account already, then you are logged in. But you need to check. So if, if you see here and it says sign in, that means you're not yet logged in. Yeah. But if it says my account, you will probably see this campus license international. Yeah. This element here, when you highlight it, you will see campus license international. You are okay. You are absolutely logged in now. So it's not going to ask you for money. It's not going to ask you to pay or to sign up or to subscribe when you try to find information. So this is Statista, and you're now into the database. All right. And once you are here, I mean, you could just go straight to the search box here and type 
to get to the search engine and, and search for a query. Let me look at something like the word sustainability. Sustainability. Imagine that I just wanted to find data relate, relating to sustainability. Here we are. Sustainability, statistics and facts. Oh, there is a whole collection of statistics and facts about sustainability from June 2029. Yeah. What about sustainable consumption in the US 2023? Generation Z and sustainability. How radical is the green generation? Sustainable consumption in the UK. So already I have some interesting resources here that I could actually read up and pick some data and some information here that I will use as part of my report or my presentation. So I can see data already. I can see information that is so important and so good to utilize. They've done this work for you. You know, they've done the work for us. They've put all of this data and information here that we can then pick up and apply when we are discussing or explaining or looking for examples to provide in our assignment. Let me go back one step. So that's one way I could have found quick information about, uh, about the topic of sustainability, right? And, you know, to get data from sustainability, I can just do my search. But for today, I'm specifically looking for you to you know, focus on finding a company and finding information about that company. So you can take your own time and explore all of these different areas and find out what's in it, what's in each of these, uh, you know, tabs, uh, uh, you know, at your own pace and any time you want to, because this database will be very useful to you even after graduation. You can use this database to, to, to prepare your presentations for interviews, to when you're looking for jobs, even when you're working. Okay, but for today, I just want to point you to insights. So when you come into Statista and when you are looking specifically for your company information, just go to insights. And then under insights, when you highlight insights, it will open up the sub menu. And then you need to go down, right down here on the company insights and click on explore company insights. So I'm going to click on that now. So once I click on explore company insights, it, the, the search engine has changed now. Now I am in the search engine that contains over 100 million companies, over 100 million insights about companies. So whatever I search for here, I'm going to find company-specific information, not just general information about sustainability, but this specifically will be about companies. So here I am now. So I can now type whatever company I want. I am interested in IKEA. So let me look at IKEA. Okay, I can just type IKEA in the search box and click and ask for the search to happen. And now the search has been conducted. So you can see here is my search. My search has been conducted and now I can see several examples of IKEA. So I have to be careful because there are so many different companies with this IKEA. So which one exactly am I going to select? One way to try to find this out is First of all, look at the founding country uh, or rather the founding year, the founding country, the number of employees and the revenue. Normally, you are, you're probably looking for the group, the bigger group. So there will be IKEA, you know, and they have subdivisions and so on all over the world. But you're probably looking for the main company that has the biggest revenues and also the highest number of employees is probably the mother company. So. For example, IKEA may have been founded in Sweden in 1960 or perhaps even earlier, but currently it would appear that the main IKEA is IKEA Holdings, electrical household appliances, furniture, lighting equipment, and other articles because it's 31 billion and 24,000 employees. So that, that 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 is huge, right? 31 billion. 24,000 and so on. So that is huge. So if you scroll through, you'll probably realize, okay, that is the main one that you are interested in and looking for. Usually what you're looking for is the first one that you will see when you search for the company. Let's look for another company called Toyota. Toyota. Okay. So now I've searched for Toyota. Again, I can see that Toyota has a lot of other divisions and subdivisions and other uh, interests in different countries. But it is very obvious to me, 338.5 billion US dollars, 375,000 employees. This is definitely the Toyota I need. In this case, you know, it is very, very clear and very obvious located in Japan. So even from this page, I can already find key information that I can discuss about Toyota. 
can find key data and key metrics and key, uh, you know, knowledge about Toyota. I know now what their global revenue is. I know number of employees. I know it's a public company. Motor vehicle is the category or the industry, and it has a headquarters in Japan, founded in 1937. So right from this page, I already have information I can, you know, in contribute to my discussion and my analysis when I am doing my presentation. But if I click on Toyota, then it makes it even more interesting because I can now see where Toyota is. So Toyota, there's a brief overview of the history of Toyota. It gives me everything about Toyota here. Um, and essentially, it provides me with data and graphics about Toyota. Look at that. Isn't this wonderful? I can now see revenue about Toyota this year. Or, or, or in the last reporting year, 2022. But I can also see this information as far back as five years. So I can compare what happened to Toyota five years ago versus what's happening to Toyota now. And from my graphic, I can immediately be able to comment that Toyota's uh, uh, you know, uh, sales or revenue actually dropped significantly in 2020, and uh, probably due to COVID. But yeah, you can see that Toyota's revenues dropped, but Toyota's revenues are beginning to pick up considerably in 2021, and again, a significant huge increase in 2022. Basically, they have added over 10 billion within two years. So what does that mean? That means that Toyota is performing strongly. And what is leading to this performance? So for me to know this, I probably have to go to Toyota's website and look at Toyota, or I can Google news and developments about Toyota or Toyota performance, current performance, what, what's leading to this. So I can do my own research. And I might find out, for example, that the main reason Toyota is really growing so fast is because of electric vehicles or hybrid vehicles. If that is the case, oh, that is telling me something about Toyota's strategy when it comes to uh, the type of vehicles they are creating and what is driving this. I am now going to link this back to my drivers, my sustainability drivers. What is, you know, what's driving the change in Toyota? What is creating this driver and therefore affecting their profitability? So I'm already seeing this, but of course, in my introduction slides, my slide one, two, or three, I might just present this um, data and quickly explain that this is how Toyota is performing. Uh, so due to the the, 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 the the significance of the company in terms of revenue and number of employees, it will have global impact and it will have significant impact impact on the issues around sustainability, such as employment, such as education, such as poverty reduction, and such as environmental degradation. Therefore, this is the reason, or this is my justification for selecting Toyota. So I can use this data in different ways. So you can see there are different data here of Toyota and what they are all about. Okay, so really good. Make sure that when you see this data, you can comment on the data, Capture the data in your analysis, your presentation, but also the great news is you can simply download. If you want to use any graph here, you just have to simply click on the download and you can download the graph. Here it is. So all you have to do if you want to include this graph in your presentation is copy it. It already has the acknowledgement at the bottom here saying Toyota, yeah, company insights by Statista. So you copy it and into your PowerPoint. Let me see if I can open PowerPoint quickly before we complete this short video. So into your PowerPoint presentation, you, maybe you have a slide here titled Company Profile. Profile or oh, Company Profile. Eh? And then you have made your summary notes, yeah? Founded in 1937. Has over 24,000 employees and whatever other bullet points you are using in your assignment. And then you import your slides or your, your, your you import the graphics that you have uh, selected or you have downloaded from Statista. And there you are. Once you drop the graphic in your slide, the good thing is you also have the AI opportunity because the AI is suggesting different designs for your slides. So, of course, try and make sure that you picking AI designs for your slide, keep them consistent and make sure that the content is readable, okay? So don't just pick any one of the, 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 the suggested designs that you can see. Um, and in the, in, the, in the upcoming videos, I'm gonna show you exactly how to, you know, do your present or, or, or create your PowerPoint slides. So don't worry about that. But for now, as an example, here we are. So uh, I can adjust this to make sure that it's more readable so I can increase the font a little bit like that, okay? And here we are. So I have my key 
there I can add more points, da da da, I can add more points about what I want to say. Yeah, what I want to explain and discuss in my assignment, I can add all these points. I can add points here. And then I have my graphic there. I can also include more than one graph. So I can have this graph. I can include another one and another one and another one. So imagine that I have two major graphs I want to use. Then I can do it like this, can't I? So here are two graphs. Yeah, or here are two graphs that are telling the story. And then I have my key points here. And then in my recording of my presentation, I will now explain what's going on on this graph and the key points that I have here. So that is how you find information and extract key data and information from Statista on any company to use for your assignment. I hope that was helpful and uh, see you in the next video. Bye for now.